What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 25 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us triangle PMT. It tells us the length of a few of the line segments inside this triangle uh, written as expressions, and we're supposed to find the exact measure of segment PG in numbers. All right, so I want to start with the what you need to know section, of course. We need to know about centers of triangles and the different kinds of centers of a triangle that we can see. We'll also need to solve an equation with variables on both sides. Um, but now after this, I wanna start um, by recognizing that these, MG, GT, and PG, are all angle bisectors. You can see from the little uh, curve markings that they all cut angle M, angle P, or angle T in half. And whenever the three angle bisectors meet in the center, they create what is called an incenter. And it's at this point that we can draw a circle which hits each side exactly once and has point G as its center. And since this circle hits each edge of the triangle at points K, H, and J, K, G, H, G, and J, G are all radii of the circle, and since each of these lines is a radius, we would consider them all congruent. So now this is the most important piece of information here, because this is how I can get that if G, H is X plus 3, and G, J is 2, X minus 1, this is how I can know that I need to set these up as an equation where since these are congruent, I can say that their expressions are equal. So x plus 3 equals 2x minus 1. And whenever I see an equation with variables on both sides, I'm going to use my Volnor trick, where I want my variables on the left side and my numbers on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and go about that process. To get my variables on the left, I see a positive 2x that I don't want to be there. So I subtract 2x to get rid of it. Plus 2x and minus 2x cancel. And 1x minus 2x gets me negative x. And now for my numbers, I want all my numbers on the right. So I get rid of this plus 3 that I see on the left side. Plus 3 and minus 3 cancel. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And if negative x equals negative 4... I'll cheat a little bit and just cut the negative sign off both of those. It's mathematically okay. It's like I'm multiplying them both by negative 1. But it's an easy way of saying that x equals 4. And now I want to go back to the actual question because we were trying to find the measure of segment PG. And PG was not one of the congruent ones that we found, but we did see that its expression was 4x plus 1. And in order to figure out its length now, I just need to take 4 and plug it in for x giving me instead of 4 times x, 4 times 4 plus 1, also known as 16 plus 1, which is 17 units. And that matches choice D.